doing? It's supposed to be springtime, you're just saying. <laughs> it's not springtime no. here. Well, I'm guessing this is going to be the last snows of the uh, the winter, at least I bloody hope so. Quick before we go, say hello to the world, Dora. Look at the world. Yes, it is. So the band Valdez had its second rehearsal with drummer Scott Miller last night. Yeah. Yeah. So we've just finished the rehearsal. I was going to uh, actually um, uh, record some of it, but it's a rehearsal, and uh, <laughs> poor old Scott's only done this. <laughs> this is the second time he's done it. I mean, it's early days yet. I mean, I'd love to actually have uh, played you a little bit of audio from last night. We had no mics set up because we were working. Yes, so this is Tom. Say hello, say hello to the world, Tom. Hello, world. Uh, this is Joe. Howdy. This is Scott. Hi. What is your second name, Scott? I don't even know. Scott is my second name, Walter Scott Miller. Sc Walter Scott Walter Miller. Scott Miller. Walter, yes. can you give us the beat? <laughs> give me a minute. <laughs> Smile for the camera. Look at this place. It's now in March. I mean, I suppose it's not unheard of, but uh, what do I know? I've only lived here a couple of years. Well, I've seen Stacy off to work. Dora has been walked. God bless her. And now my day begins. Right then, let's do this. Whoa, 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 hold on. Some of you out there are probably thinking, who the hell is this guy? Well, that's a good question, so let me back up for a moment and fill you in. My name is Simon Godfrey. I'm a British singer-songwriter who lives and works in the city of Philadelphia, USA. I was born in Kingston, that's London, England, around Christmas of 1965. And yes, it really is possible to be that old and still know what the internet is. My mother was a nurse from Liverpool and my father worked for the BBC World Service. I have a younger brother called Jem, who is also a musician. There is no history of musical talent in our family, so I chalk up our respective careers as some kind of genetic aberration. We grew up in a place called Mortlake in southwest London. Like many teenagers, I loved music and I took out a loan from the bank to buy myself a drum kit as soon as I could. I chose to become a drummer because it looked cool, you didn't have to learn chords, and most importantly, you could get girls by being in a band. Jem took up the keyboards and along with a few friends, we started playing regularly in the pubs and clubs of Southern England. Jem wrote excellent songs and we got pretty good, but after a deal with a management company and a major record label fell apart, Jem decided to leave. And as he was the guy who wrote the tunes, everybody else left too. I learned a valuable lesson that day, which is never depend on anyone else for your own success. So I put down my drumsticks bought an acoustic guitar and spent the next three years learning how to play and write music for myself. It was a fun learning process. I played the open mic spots of London on my own, learned how to sing and keep an audience entertained. And soon other musicians became interested in the songs I wrote and wanted to join in. Once again, I was in a band. Only this time I was standing at the front of the stage. It was a frightening but exciting experience all at the same time. The next few years saw me play all around the world, both as a solo artist and with other bands. But after a festival show on the east coast of America, I met the person who was to change my world forever. My future wife, Stacy. Uh, she wasn't from the future, you understand. Although that would be really cool. Anyway, you get the picture. We spent a year traveling to each other's countries, trying to maintain a relationship. But I realized that if we had any chance of having a future together, one of us was gonna have to leave everything they had known behind and moved to another country. That person was me. It's safe to say that America is a fantastic place. And I knew almost from the moment that I landed with my three bags of underpants and two guitars, I'd made the right decision. So now I live and work in Philadelphia. It's an amazing city with an incredible amount to do, see and experience. Stacy and I are very happy together and we own a greyhound called Dora who is perhaps the world's fastest couch potato and possibly the most enigmatic creature I have ever encountered in my life. 
I'm also part of a new band called Valdez, as you've seen prior to this sexy monologue, and I run a small studio in the northwest of the city. In short, life is busy, full, hard work, but it's friggin' awesome. Okay, so where was I? Oh yes. Thank you.